In the very first week of school, a COVID wake-up call in Georgia. The Cherokee County School District revealing four schools have been impacted by the virus in 72 hours. Three students from first to eighth grade all testing positive after attending class Monday and a kindergarten teacher exhibiting symptoms after school and not returning Tuesday. The district telling NBC News they're quarantining those exposed, contact tracing and deep cleaning classrooms. As parents like Christy Worsham say conditions were never right for reopening. Although I feel like they are following the guidelines that they set forth, um, I, I don't feel like those guidelines are strict enough. Worsham protesting policies like students not required to wear masks, evidenced by snapshots in school hallways. Georgia's early experiences contributing to a larger conversation. In Chicago, this mother of three frustrated. I would have hoped that we could have come up with some good solutions to get some form of in-person to start the school year. The city deciding its 400,000 students will return strictly with online learning for now, a plan opposed by the president. Parents want the schools open. We want them open. We want them open safely. We're going to practice very strong hygiene. But in Mississippi, even with masks and classroom seats spaced apart, an outbreak almost right away. So I have six uh, total students who've exposed additional folks within the school system and over 100 students quarantined. And Florida educators suing the state. This is something that we've got to get our hands around or we're going to have a catastrophic catastrophic situations that we cannot control. The Sunshine State requiring schools to offer in-person learning options starting Monday. What is your gravest concern about heading back to school right now? This is life or death. People are going to die. People are going to die in our schools and we can do something about it. Sam, has there been a change of heart with parents? I mean, we see school districts changing their positions on reopening. What about parents? Yeah, polling, Savannah, suggests that parents' state of mind has really shifted recently. So Gallup, back in late May and early June, has polled parents and found that 56% of them supported in-person learning. That figure more recently plummeted to 36%, as here in Miami, a circuit court is going to be looking at proceedings for a possible injunction starting just hours from now. Mm. Savannah? All right, Sam Brock in Miami. Thank you, Sam.